Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, we'll be simplifying expressions with negative exponent. If this concept doesn't look familiar to you, then I suggest that you first watch our explainer video on integer exponents. You can find the link in the description below. There will be a three second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video and solve it on your own first, or just watch the video straight. All right, let's start solving. Rewrite the expression using the reciprocal of seven and change the exponent to positive two. It is equal to one over seven squared or one over 49. Rewrite x raised to the negative 5 as 1 over 1 over x to the 5th power. Then, divide fractions. The simplified form is x to the 5th power. This is going to be a recurring part of simplifying negative exponents. So, always remember the concept that 1 over a number with negative exponent is equal to that specific number with a positive exponent. It is also true for a number with positive exponent to be equal to 1 over the number with negative exponent. The exponent of negative 6 applies to w only, not to the factors of 3 or y. Rewrite w to the negative 6th power to 1 over w to the 6th power. Simplifying it, will show 3y to the 4th power, over w to the 6th power. Rewrite the expression, using the reciprocal of 4, and change the exponent, to positive 3. It is equal to 1 over 4 cubed, or 1 over 64. Remember the shortcut we discussed in the second problem? This expression is simply equal to p to the seventh power. The exponent of negative 10 applies to b only, not to the factors of negative 8 or a. Rewrite b raised to the negative 10 to 1 over b to the 10th power. Simplifying it will show negative 8a cubed over b to the 10th power. The base for the exponent of negative 3 is 10, not negative 10. Rewrite the expression using the reciprocal of 10 and change the exponent to positive 3. It is equal to negative 1 over 10 cubed, or negative 1 over 1000. The exponent of negative 3 applies to negative 3 only, and the exponent of negative 2 applies to x only. Rewrite negative 3 to the negative third power, using the reciprocal of negative 3, and change the exponent to positive 3. Simply put x in the numerator, and change the exponent to positive 2. The cube of negative 3 is negative 27. The final answer is negative x squared over 27. The exponent of negative 4 applies to base 2 only. Negative 3 applies to x only. And negative 2 applies to y only. Rewrite the expression using the reciprocals of 2 and x. 
Then change their exponents from negative 4 and negative 3 to positive 4 and 3. Rewrite 1 over y raised to the negative 2 to y squared. Simplifying it will show y squared over 16x cubed. The exponent of negative 2 applies to base negative 4 only. And the exponent of negative 4 applies to p only. Rewrite the expression using the reciprocal of negative 4. Then, change the exponent from negative 2 to positive 2. The square of negative 4 is 16. 1 over p to the negative 4th power is simply equal to p to the fourth power. The simplified form of the whole expression is our cube p to the fourth power over 16. And there you have it. I hope you learned a lot in this solve along video about negative exponents. We recognize that the best way to fully understand math concepts is by answering exercises. So be sure to check out the next solve along video about all properties of exponents. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.